I had something that Dr. Mike said. I think it was in Psalm 33, 1-4. Sometimes you never know how someone survives what Job went through. How many of you believe in the next one hour to the next 12 hours? heaven and earth is going to open its goodness towards you we'll get some few five ten testimonies but because if we, did, we don't get them we'll, we'll not be able to pick them today in the evening please make up the uh, the scriptures Job chapter 30 33 verse 1 to 4 I want us to read it together let's stand up on our feet then the Holy Spirit is going to visit this place and uh, he's going to deal with us Job Job Job. Yobu Asatumusatu. Onyo soka pa kolokuna. One, two, three, go. Wherefore, Job. I pray thee, hear my speeches, and hearken to all my words. Go ahead. Behold, now I have opened my mouth. My tongue has spoken in my mouth. Go ahead. My word shall be of the uprightness of my heart, and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty has given me a life. What kind of life do you want to have? He said, now I've, I've, cle- I've washed my mouth. Whenever you go to good hotels, there is always a little bottle called mouthwash. They're expecting you to have a toothbrush. But in between hours of the day, between conferences, you may not brush your teeth. You can have the mouthwash. The moment you put it in, you gargle and drop it out your mouth is fresh again because you did the foundation you brushed it in the morning but in between meals and time you pick up bacteria your tongue picks up bacteria your tongue is the, is the, is the most dirty thing you, there are many other dirty areas in your life but your, your tongue is, 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 is very very it, it, it gets bacteria quickly bacteria to break down the food bacteria also it makes your mouth smell now if you're going to address somebody uh, you feel like you need to do certain things now watch this child of God. so they give you the mouthwash Job was saying my faith is intact my hope is in God I am born again I'm a child of God but frankly speaking I needed a mouthwash so that I may speak words now righteously and clearly. One of the greatest challenges you're going to have in life, the greatest challenge is your spirit to hear the Holy Spirit.
is your spirit omoyo to obey the Holy Spirit and you can't obey him unless you hear him if you are if you are used to the Holy Spirit and you have people around you who are not sensitive to the Holy Spirit confusion can't stop are you hearing what I'm saying? confusion can't do what? confusion can't stop this is a week of bearing fruit and a week ya kubala bibala and 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 too much is at stake i was i was discussing something dr mike said something dr mike but my wife picked it she had him she said about this revival this 77 days he said this is one of the greatest revivals he has seen around I was involved in the Pensacola revival I, Dr. Mai, I preached there once a month for six months when Steve Hill left and uh, John, pa- John Kilpatrick called me John Q. Patrick Nam <coughs> said we need you we've heard about your ministry come and help us run this revival we preached it there with Jensen Franklin we preached one Saturday on Friday night I preached another Friday night but I remember I walked there one day and the Lord said to me I didn't know what was going on but the Lord told me he said there is a, another side of God that the devil never knew listen to me Satan, Satan has spent more time with, with God more than you are he was created before you were created he was in the presence of God before you have ever been in the presence of God but he left without knowing the other side of God that he did not know that he did not know and so he said there is a side of me even Christians don't know they know one side of me but there is another side they don't know and it's a side of the Holy Spirit I want us to read this verse loud and clear I said loud and clear one two three go the spirit of god hath made me and the breath of the almighty hath given me life said again the spirit of god hath made me and the breath of the almighty hath given me life so when we are here and God formed man in the dust it was the spirit that carved us out of the dust then the breath of El Shaddai gave us life oh let me say that again because you didn't get it God created man created male and female but he formed man first and he made man out of the dust what picked man out of the dust was not God as God it was the spirit you can only understand this to you you can't and you and I we cannot but you can, Job is the only one who could make such a statement because he saw his flesh go away he sat on a heap of ashes and in ashes there is salt because 
to preserve the last flesh salt does the same thing salt is a preservative when you kill an animal you want to cure it you put salt on it and you hang it so the salt in the ashes Job sat on it. Job yagutulako covered himself. Nagwebika because he saw his bones. Yaraba magumba genga galingiza. While he was alive. Gachali mulam. He saw death. Yaraba kufanga kuse. While he was alive. Gachaso muka. The flesh that was beautiful became wounds while he was alive. Maggots were jumping out of his wounds while he was alive. Chunks of flesh fell off to the extent that his best lover, the love of his heart, say, I know who's preserving you. You are already dead, man. Job, you are dead. You are not alive. Deny God. Die. Because there's nothing left to love. Nothing else to love. I can go through your skin to your bones. Dr. Mike, I saw people Dr. Mike, before Nala. medicine came. Before AIDS medicine came. Oh, where, I saw people Nala. die of AIDS. I saw wounds that went so deep. They brought them for prayer. Job is saying <laughs> Job is saying What really made me What carved me out of the dust Was the spirit of God then the breath of the Almighty, Almighty gave me the life. The invisible made me visible. The untouchable made me exist. And as he sat on that heap of lashes, he you know, thank God for the flesh on our skeletons. They cover a lot. The skin. You said, thank God for your skin. It covers a lot. Just the skin. It covers a lot. That skin. Covers a lot. Yesterday we saw that girl. Only two wounds. In her back. We all said. <gasps> what if the whole skin is not here I've seen as, as, as victims people who have been in the infernal fires bomb blasts and the skin is gone the smell is too much. Just the skin. Just the skin. Off. A lady came the other Friday. Friday 
she had she was wearing a pamper the baby pamper for the breast she had a breast cancer it was so big she covered it in a pamper and then the power of God touched her and the past stopped she stopped smelling but the pamper she hold it here all of us were like this just the skin thank God for your skin I say thank God for your skin covers a lot sometimes you wonder what is drawing people to you sometimes we wonder what is the beauty what do we call beauty frankly speaking is skin deep it is skin deep what we call beauty is skin deep you take off the skin just one week we came the smell Echivundu. job Yop. is the only one who understood this place. And he brings it. He brings it home. Let me tell you. You want to know who made me? You want me who 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 saw me in the dust? Ani anda vamufufu. Who made me? You want to know who 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 saw me in the dust? Ani anda vamufufu. And told God. Na yokele ne katonda. There can be life here. Njoo nomsa jaso lo kudamu kula muka. You want to know? Wali oyari ya kado kumanya. Who shaped me different from the giraffes? Do you really want to know? Who gave me five fingers on the hand? Do you want to know my architect? Do you want to know my designer? Do you know who gave me four legs and not four? Two eyes and not one give me a brain a faculty of thinking do you really want to know before you threaten me with cancer before you bring the ugliness of HIV before you threaten me with your curses do you want to know how I live here it's the spirit Spirit of God. Moyo wa katonda ya chikola. And I live by a breath of God. Ere chimbeza o muka o kuva muka. That means. Chitegeza. If God ever dies. Katonda singa sobala kufa. Don't come for my funeral. Toja kunzika. If God ever dies. Kana malafa. Do not prepare the coffins. I live because he's alive. Dead people don't breathe. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm talking about. Dead people don't breathe. The fact that you are here is a proof that God liveth. Oh, come on, somebody, clap your hands. The fact that you are here you are talking God is alive somebody get up on your feet and shout I live because he's alive the fact that you are still breathing and talking that is the proof that God is alive and if he's alive Oh, come on, somebody shout hallelujah, God of God. Because God is alive, all things are possible. Miracles are possible. In the next 12 hours, you are getting a car. Because God is alive. Not because Robert Kayanja says so. Not because the Wistabuashi 
says it. Not because Mike Maddox says it. Not because Jessica says it. Not because the choir sings it. But because God is alive. 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 Because God is alive.
Job said, For I know my Redeemer liveth. And at the end of the earth, on the latter day, he will stand. People are waiting for the last day when Jesus appears on the sky. But today is the last day of your suffering. And Jesus stands. Today is the last day of your demons. Today is the last day of your sickness. Today is the last day of your walking. Today is the last day of your poverty and Jesus stands his spirit created me so I can't be sustained by nothing else. Brothers and sisters, you know why demons look for you? Do you know why demons look for you? Because your body, demons are spirits. They are demon spirits. Like the Holy Spirit. They are spirits. But they are demons. Do you know why they long to come to you? Do you know why people send them to you and they come in your body? It's because your body is longing for it. Your body is longing for its maker. Anything that looks like it's the maker, it longs for. Like a suckling baby, longs for a mother. He sees the mother say, Your body is thirsty for the spirit. But the problem is, you are filling it with wrong spirit. Your bones are quaking for the lack of the spirit of God. That's why you fill your body with alcohol. Don't you know alcohol is under spirits? Wine and spirits. Spirits. That's why you fill it with marijuana. That's why you fill it with sex. Don't you know sex is a spirit? Sex comes from love. Love is a spirit. Love is God. Spirit. Your body. Thirst for its maker. The breath of God gives me life. Actually, the Bible says that the breath of the Almighty gives me understanding. Lift your hand. Because you are made by the Holy Spirit. And you are living by God. Therefore, sickness, diseases, poverty is illegally in your body. Let me say that again. Everything that didn't make you, everything that did not grow 
body it is illegally in your body today this morning and in the evening throughout the night this day of Friday as you are channel 44 as you spend the whole day you're going to hear the spirit of the Lord call you you are no longer sick drop that crutch you are no longer blind you can open eyes and see you are no longer poor you have a car just being in the presence of God Solomon what happened to you yesterday he was always looking at me he said my family my wife fell off the border border it rained on my child and I tell him stay on the keyboard he plays little like Oba Toro he goes and sit down waiting for Firinda tell the people what God did praise the Lord church I was on stage here yesterday right here on my keyboard and somebody brought me a cheat that I read I couldn't believe I'm telling you I and my wife were surprised yesterday when we were back home and told how we didn't sleep all night all day. up to now I haven't yet slept because I got my dream car a Mercedes Benz and to be honest with you to be honest with you I have always wanted the, pre- the, the person who used to play keyboard here Yekuba, Pastor Mark told me Pastor about him cars I don't know how many times like three times so I was, I was always thinking Musei one day Pastor is going to give me and one time this 77 days I said God if I dare go to my pastor's office again I will have limited and the car I want all my friends here are my witness I have been to the bond several times I go and sit in that specific in the bond a month ago I told an Indian man along Chambogo bond there I told him I went and tested it I told him I'm coming back to pick it and it was worth 20,000 US dollars but I was like God I'm just doing it by faith I remember I was praying with one of the apostles here Apostle Moses there and I told him and he said I'm seeing a Mercedes Benz I said that's it I was from the bond that day I'm telling you I was here on stage the very car I was from testing in the bond came to me while I was to God be the glory people of God the Holy Spirit made you you are looking in the wrong direction for your land for your car for your money you be in the 77 days God is already telling talking to people about you oh come on somebody <laughs> lift up your hand get saved again say I was mad everybody lift up your hand say I was mad oh my god people who have been in our crusades know before we start anything great it rains and Lift your hand. 
it just did. Don't really rain, drizzle. It said, by this you'll know I am there. He is here. I said, He is here. Nobody brought Job penicillin. Nobody examined his wound. The same spirit that made him returned his skin. The Bible said God gave him double. Which means the man became more handsome than ever before. His daughter looked more beautiful than ever before. The Holy Spirit knows how to give you double than your enemy. Frankly speaking, stop praying for your enemy to die. Pray that God will bless you double than the, your enemy. That is a better punishment to them than ever before. You watch in this 77 days. Your enemy will clap hands for you while they see your progress. Let the Holy Spirit handle your situation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Say, I now know I was framed by the Spirit of God. I live by the breath of God. Tonight, have your way in my life. Spirit of God, breath of God, give me understanding about everything concerning my destiny, concerning my life. I'm no longer afraid. I have the Spirit of God in me, in Jesus' name. And because He lives, I confess tomorrow. Because He lives, oh fear is gone. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Because I know. Life is worth living just because we live. Lift up your hands and because we live, I confess tomorrow because Jesus lives. The fear of death. 
the fear of poverty, the fear of disease. Lift your hands and tell God. Come on, tell all the demons. They call him Jesus. He plays with God. He plays and forgives. He lives to buy my. This empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. He calls me. I can face tomorrow because He lives. Give him a praise that is due to his resurrection. Somebody said, and life is what? Come on. And life is what? Life is what? And life is what? The living just. Living just. Because he lives. Yeah! Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Yes, I say Jesus is alive. Yes, I said Jesus is alive. Yes, Mulamu. If you are not saved, you are not born again. You don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You've come here. You need Jesus in your life. Run here quickly, please. And life is what? Because he lives. Come on, come on, church. Come on, church. Get excited. My life is worth living
It's so sad. You have lost the joy of salvation a long time ago. It's so sad. Somebody has to encourage you to clap your hands because Jesus is alive. It's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. That's why you'll be poor. That's why you'll be sick. Yes, you will die like me. Yes, you are God. But those who understand that your life is worth now living just because you live. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Put your hands on your chest. Oh Lord, pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I repent of my sins. Dear Jesus, save me. Change me. Transform me. Devil, I turn my back on you. I'm a child of God. Jesus died for me. I believe he's the Son of God. He's my Savior. He's my Redeemer. He's my Comforter. I surrendered my life to him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Welcome to the family of God. Now, Put your hands on your head. Every devil that bound you of the clan, bandage, which could be cut off of you now in Jesus. Let the devils go. Demons come out. Get out of them. Which of them? Come out of them. Don't come back. They have got born again. Come to help, you, to help you start your walk with God Pastor Chris, Pastor Chris is right there behind you he's him. lifting up his hands please follow him you take just five minutes you'll find us here may the Lord bless you just go with Pastor Chris In Jesus name. he's lifting up his hands right there and life is worth Pastor Chris. living just Oh, lift up your hands and clap your hands to Jesus, everybody. Because He lives, I confess tomorrow. Because He lives, oh, fear is gone. your hands everybody stand up because he lives I can't face tomorrow because he lives oh fear is gone because I
upon you. The spirit of life is coming on you in Jesus' mighty name. And the power of God is going to be everywhere. Some of you are going to fall down. Some of you will shake. Some of you are going to speak in other tongues. You have life by God. Not by anything. By God. God is going to give you that life. Life of success. Life of driving a car. There is a better life than what you have. Why don't you try the Holy Ghost? Why don't you try the Holy Ghost? Tonight speak in tongues more than ever before. Today roar on the floor than ever before. Today be happy in the Holy Ghost. Today laugh in the Holy Spirit. Today engage yourself in the Holy Ghost. You will see what you have never seen before. Yield to the Holy Ghost. Surrender to God. Let your confession change. Let God fill you with the Holy Ghost. Let the power of Almighty touch you. In Jesus' name. I remember one day, as I had just fallen in love with the Holy Ghost, the power of God hit me. Where I was, I was going to preach in the afternoon in a conference. And the Holy Ghost invaded me. I couldn't go for breakfast. I, 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 I couldn't go anywhere. They were picking me at 11. I was going to preach in a Korean church. And they always keep time. And I, I, was, I was down under the power. I was rolling all over. From the bed, underneath the bed, out there, in the tables, in the bathroom. I was just a mess. If you looked at me, tears, saliva, everything all over. But he was revealing to me everything that was going to be in the meeting. They banged the door. I couldn't hear them. They brought security. They used locks and blocks to open. We had a place called uh, 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 Kwangju. We were in a place, town called Kwangju. Kwangju. The power of God was so strong. So they opened. As they touched the knob of the, of the hotel room, the power of God pushed the man, the maintenance man, and smashed him in another wall. And so they called the thought it was electric I, I was electrocuted or, or there is electricity on, on, on the knob. Another one came. They couldn't open. I had I had locked, I put a lash on, on, on the door the night before. But the Holy Ghost came at 5.15 in that hotel room. It was very cold, it was in November. But in, inside my room, where somebody has put up something like a like like a thousand degrees heat the power of God was so strong and, I, and, and so they tried so in Korea they, they have these things you, you put on in your window if there's an earthquake or if the hotel is collapsing they give you, they give you a chain and a rope and, 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 and things that you can chain and, and instead of going through the, the elevators and, and the steps you can go through the window so people get into the window now it's approaching one the conference is waiting it's approaching one they went in the window they saw me on the floor just rolling they thought I had collapsed or something so they called the, the ambulance they came broke the window they have these trucks that they put on the, on the, on the car you know they, 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 this is car which turns into stairs they, 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 they open the, uh, the, the window and the fireman came and he looked at me and I looked at him and he began to scream he had put one leg into the window and he began to scream in Korean telling his friend get me out of here this is too hot get me out of here so his friend pulled him out I remained there until 6 until 6 
Then we went to the meeting. I know when this man who was full of demons said, I've not eaten for five days. I ate nothing. The following five days I ate nothing. But the power of God. I saw people with cancer. Tumors disappear. I knew the names of the people. I knew their children's names. It's like I was born in their home. You cannot survive outside the Holy Spirit. Who lied to you that you need doctrines of religion? Who lied to you? That you're gonna live of what you do. Your job, a doctor, a medical doctor, a stomach swell. There's nothing in their books they told them. That when the stomach is swollen, you put it on TV. You get healed. Medical school. You had her here the other day. Child of God. Get ready. For what God is about to do. So this morning. I know we are going to go all night. Some of you have got a few hours to just go clean. And then turn around and come back. Get your seed and turn around and come back. I don't plan to scare you. But you come here by five, you have nowhere to see. Child of God, Katonda. we were framed by the Holy Spirit. And the breath of God. made man to rise you are about to rise and stand up on your feet you are about to become a mighty a mighty woman a mighty man of God that's why when he came to Gideon he didn't say Gideon the coward why are you hiding he said good morning mighty man of God this morning the Holy Spirit wants me to greet you good morning billionaires good morning billionaires I say good morning overcomers good morning anointed ones good morning the head and on the tail we're going to sing it one more time and then the Holy Spirit is going to hit this place your body is longing for him but sing it with joy sing it with happiness he will invade your space Lift your hands. You must make a banga. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he
Holy Spirit, fear your people. Jesus, come and feel your lungs. You are holy with the Holy Spirit. People open your mouth. Start speaking in tongues. Come on. Come on. Start laughing. Let the joy of the Lord overtake your life. Jesus, oh Jesus, come and feel your love. Somebody say, Lord, feel me. Come on, come on, see you, sir. With the Holy Spirit and remove every sickness, remove every chaff, remove everything. Join your hands together, raise your hands up, breathe in seven times. On the seventh time, the power of God is going to fill you, you'll be turned into another man. Breathe in. Breathe out. Seven times. I give you praise, Jesus. 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 I I shall speak up all those people and let them hear so that people don't fall on them. The Holy Ghost is all over this place. People receive. Cry out to God to fill you. He's here. He designed you. If there is pain in your body, tell him to come in. Pain will leave. He's the architect of the ministries. He designed it. Let him finance it. In Jesus' name. Laugh. Join your hands. Raise your hand. Don't be tired. This is the moment you are in the presence of God. And just laugh. And just praise. And just glorify God. Spirit of the living God. The Lord Holy Spirit is invading your businesses. When you open shop this morning, you will be shocked and surprised where the customers will come. He's blowing them your way. Fill up the whole place, please. If you have nowhere to place them, place them anywhere you can. Fill up the whole place, please. Start laughing.
sing. <laughs> this is a day like no other day. <laughs> Within the next 12 hours, there will be a lot of money in your hands. Money is being transferred in your accounts as we speak. Holiness is being transferred in your life. Join your hands and laugh. No more sickness, no more disease, no more death. <laughs> The Holy Ghost is falling on your skin. You look more attractive for the job, for marriage, for appointment. In the name of Jesus, than ever before. You are winning that contract. You are making that money. What was difficult, the Lord has solved it. is carrying you from where you have been to where you've never been before. Oh, join your hands and laugh and <laughs> shout and rejoice. Fire! Fire! Nothing should scare you. Nothing should ever scare you. You are not made by man. Neither diseases. Neither the circumstances. People the Holy Ghost who created. 
Judah. He fears it again. No one Judah. Whatever bound you, don't even cast them out. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. You drive them out. He will drive them out by himself. Join your hands together. Oh, <laughs> 